Hello everybody, I'm I Your Face, and welcome back to another Pokemon Brick Bronze PvP video. I think I got that right. Today we're going up against Z Conversion, also known as Warlord. Uh, but yeah, I, I, the team is, you know, you already saw it in yesterday's video, so we're just gonna go into it. Alright, I'll see you when I see you. Alright, we are back. I won't tell you how long I had to wait because he was in the middle of a battle. So, here we go. Alright, let's take a look at his team. Oh lord, that is a whole lot of threats. Oh. We have a Gliscor, a Venusaur, a Hydreigon, Mega Beedrill, Scizor, and Rotom Heat. I wish I had Stealth Rocks. I wish I had Stealth Rocks. I'm regretting not having Stealth Rocks. Okay, so... Uh... My Muck pretty much walls... Uh... Rotom... And... Venusaur to an extent. Hydreigon as well because of the Assault Vest. Uh, Beedrill's a problem because it's like impossible to switch into. So I kind of want to lead maybe Gastrodon, but he might lead Venusaur. If he leads Venusaur, I'm kind of screwed, but we're going to lead Gastrodon because we don't have any time to think because we're... Yeah. All right, here we go. He leads Gliscor. Okay, that's actually pretty good. He might just hurry... He might just knock off turn one anyway. Uh, if he were to switch into a Scald, what would he go into? He'd probably go into his Venusaur, but if he doesn't Venusaur, he's going to knock off. And if he knock offs here, this will tell me a lot about his set. It'll tell me how much offensive investment he really has. And yeah. Oh, oh, he withdrew. Does he go into Venusaur? I drag on. Okay. And I go into my Pidgeot. Alright, I kinda I'm kinda curious. How much does my Pidgeot take from a Hydreigon? Like a Life Orb Hydreigon, because that's probably what it is. Uh, you don't have Draco Meteor, so... Oh, I forgot to turn off sub notifications. Thank you whoever subscribed. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to take most of my health. So, he's probably just going to U-turn to be honest, because he's going to think I'm going to U-turn. So, I'm gonna hurricane. He might U-turn, or he might just flat out hit me. If he flat out, flat out hits me, oh crap. So, we're gonna smack him with this hurricane, and hope for the best. Alright, we hit him, it does a lot, that does a whole heck of a lot. Oh, he just hits. Life Orb? Nope, not even Life Orb. Interesting. Uh... I'm going... Hmm. If I U-turn, what would I go out into? If I U-turn... I'd probably... I can't really U-turn, can I? Uh... Because if I go into my Gastrodon, that, the, I, uh, the Venusaur comes in 300%. Um... If I go into Delmai's Rotom Heat comes in... And... Yeah, so, you know what, I'll just, I'll just U-turn. See what happens. He withdrew, okay, so we get some switch initiative here. Okay, we got the Rotom in here, and we are, we are dipping. Though it's gonna be hard to get my Pidgeot back in, considering, uh, con yeah, considering the, uh, health I'm at. So I'm gonna go into my Muck and click Knockoff. Yeah, I want to. I want to click knockoff. Take off any item he's got. He's just gonna will o wisp. That's fine, really. I've got aromatherapy, so it's fine. That doesn't do much. That makes me think he's more physically invested than anything. So I have a feeling he's just gonna volt switch, and I'm not gonna let him do it. And I'm, so I'm gonna go into my gastrodon. Alright. 
I just have the feeling he's gonna fire off a Volt Switch because he doesn't want to stay in and possibly get poisoned. We got the call there. Now, what's his response? I kind of want to just throw off an Ice Beam. But then again, he might go into... He might stay in. What does he have? What, Volt Switch, Rest, because I saw a Chestoberry. Overheat, and Will-O-Wisp. Okay, cool. Um, so toxicing him won't do me much good. Probably just gonna hard swap into something. Because he can't really hurt me all that much. What's he go into? Venusaur? Do I want to reveal Ice Beam yet? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. He... What? Oh, it's just, it's just a visual thing. Scizor, he actually went into Scizor, risking a burn. I don't get it. Uh, does he just sword stance here? Cause like, I don't, I don't see what, what the plan is here. Knight slash what? Was he predicting Delmise or something? Okay, well, uh, Scizor's been neutered. Um, I don't, I don't get what he's doing here. He's probably going to U-turn or sack this off, really. Uh, I'll Ice Beam. He might U-turn. X Scizor. Oh, okay, cool. Does it... Interesting? Interesting indeed. Burn's not enough to kill him, so I'm just going to recover off what he does here. Oh, he might predict that. Nope, he just attacks. Okay. I'm just going to recover off what he does here. And... What do I think he's going to do? Hmm. I might just go out into Muck. No, I won't. I'll Scald him. I'll just I'll just scald him. Invite in the Venusaur. I I mean I can't I don't really have much of a choice besides that because I don't want him having like a huge amount of switch initiative. And also I didn't want to take damage on anything. So here we have the Venusaur. <clears throat> he might leech seed me. It might sleep powder me. It could sludge bomb. I mean, this is overall the best choice, considering I can get rid of whatever it's holding. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and go out into this, maybe? Because he can't... Right now, he can't, uh... Sleep, put me to sleep. Leech Seed, okay. Well, that that's fine. He's probably got like some leftovers on it. And he's probably gonna just double out into his Rotom right now. So I kinda wanna just go into my uh, Gastrodon again. Or I could go into this and uh, he'll get rid of the burn on this. No, I'll just, I'll just go into the uh, Gastrodon. He went into Gliscor, interesting. I was about ready to click knockoff, what the heck? I would have gotten rid of his toxic or interesting so now he doesn't want to stay in he might just knock off he, yeah he might just do that so i can't wall Beedrill as effectively but let's be honest i don't really care that much so i'm just going to throw off an ice beam his scissor has gone so like his switch-ins aren't or, or rotom which is also weak to scald his his team really does struggle against this Gastrodon. So yeah. I, uh, he might just knock me off because honestly that he should. Because like nothing wants to switch into this. You can't risk switching his Beedrill in on a skull because burning it would make it pointless. Uh, Rotom is what's stopping my Pidgeot from spamming Hurricane. Uh, Venusaur doesn't want to take an Ice Beam. Oh, it's probably a bulky one, so it could probably eat it up like it's nothing, so... I'm not really worried about it. 
Hmm. Really? Uh. Yeah, this is this is an interesting. This is this is probably an interest. Yeah, this is an interesting turn. Okay, he swaps out. What's he going to? The Hydreigon. Okay, he sacks it off. Fair play. Yep, he knew he knew it, this was too dangerous to swap into. All right, so also I did, I forgot to nickname my Delmice. Like I said, I would. Okay, Venusaur's back in. Uh, oh, I might go into this, but he might just sludge bomb. I could just go into this and aromatherapy, get rid of all this crap, and try and get my Pidgeot healed up because I know a fully healed Pidgeot can take one poison jab from a B drill if it has to. I know that much, but so can Delmice. Uh. I think my play here. He might double. Although, what would he double into? Gliscor? Gliscor into the knockoff? I mean, I don't really care what it does, so I'm just gonna go back into the muck. If he goes for Leech Seed, so be it. Giga Drain, okay. I'm actually about to. Do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna double into my Delmize on this Leech Seed. Okay. And I know he's gonna go into Gliscor because it was this thing, considering I can't really touch it all that well. Although I'm curious, how much do I do to it? How much do I do to Gliscor? This actually will pretty much determine its set. Is it bulky? If it's bulky, this won't two hit KO. Not even close. If it's completely offensive, then well, he done goofed. We'll, we'll find out in a second. Because I can pretty much guarantee he's going into the... Or does he just stay in? Because, like, all you can do is sludge bomb me. You can't sleep powder... Okay, he withdrew. Does he go into the Gliscor? There's the Gliscor. How much does this do? Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, are we in business. He can't even roost because Power Whip will KO him, so I'm going... Oh, he's going to knock off. What am I doing? <laughs> Does a knock... Okay, that's definitely offensive, though. Does a knock off KO my Pidgeot? Oh, what am I doing? But yeah, that is definitely an offensive one. Uh, 252, knock off. Oh, I was wondering why they did so much. 30 to 34 to 40. 64 is the maximum damage it can do. So I could pretty much go into my uh, Pidgeot and... Ooh. I might just want to roost. Yeah. I'm not going to let him hit my Delmize with the knockoff. There's the knockoff. It won't kill. It only did like 40, so... It only did like 40 something. What, I had 66 and I went down to 26, it did exactly 40. So it's not fully invested offensively, but it's definitely not defensively invested, like, at all. L let's see, Delmize versus this thing. Our, yeah, that that's pretty much what I did. If not a little bit more. Uh, Pidgeot. We're gonna figure this out. Uh, how much attack investment do you got? You've got like, what? Do you have no attack investment? You have like no attack investment. What the heck? Which means I'll eat this earthquake. Even if. Yeah, I'll roost up on this. I'll roost and. Yeah, Rotom comes in. And. Yeah, I'll just. You turn right on out. And he can't, uh, I mean, he, he, he'll probably like Will-O-Wisp, to be honest. I think now's a perfect opportunity, actually, to heal up my muck. 
Overheat. He just goes straight for it. Oh, and he misses. Well, sorry, dude. I'm just going... I'll aromatherapy first. He's going to Volt Switch right into that Beedrill because he knows that has such... Like... Oh, he just... That was a misplay if I've ever seen one. Holy crap. You should have Volt Switched right into that Beedrill. Holy crap. That Beedrill is definitely what you should have gone into. And now... Yep. He's doing it. He's going into the Beedrill. Does Muck... Does Muck take this? Does Muck take a U-turn? U-turn... Oh my god, that does so much. I am at, what, 124. It's a roll. Holy crap. Hmm, I might want to go into Delmise then. Because I, I took out the Gliscor. No, did I? No. He's still got the Gliscor. So... Hmm. He's, he's gonna click U-turn. He saw me click Wish. So, he's gonna click U-turn. What am I... Does Pidgeot take it? No, I can't risk Pidgeot taking a Poison Jab. Uh... I could throw in my Infernape. Yeah, we'll throw in Infernape. I know he's gonna click U-turn. He, he's definitely not gonna poison jab because Muck was such an obvious switch in. And yeah. Yep, there it is. Not gonna do much. Next up, he's gonna go into the uh, Glide Score. Alright, since I know you're not physically defensive at all. Inferni. Life Orb. Cl or did, uh, Flare Blitz. Because that did way too much. Flare Blitz. 63 to 75. Oh, that's too close of a roll. I can't risk it. He's definitely gonna like Earthquake. Hmm. What does my Infernape do this game anyway? There's a Rotom. There's a Beedrill, which I don't have. Because it won't take a hit. It won't take a Poison Jab. And there is what? What's that last one I've seen? Venusaur? My Pidgeot can, can take care of that. So I'll just Flare Blitz. I'll just smack it. It won't kill it. Oh. I stand corrected. Well then. The critical hit probably mattered there. Because even an uninvested Gliscor took that. Um, except if I got a, like, a super high roll. Max roll would have killed that. It, uh, it killed an uninvested Gliscor. But... That Gliscor set was pretty wonky to be honest. He could pretty much go into Beedrill, claim to kill. Doesn't really matter to me. Uh. Hmm. What what was I doing to stop it? Okay, yep, there it is. He's probably gonna. He's got no reason to not poison jab. Let's see, Gastrodon. Uh. E drill. We got we got to keep our health up, or else we won't be able to take this thing on. Poison jab plus U turn only does about fifty, a little over fifty. So I can go in and recover off whatever the heck he does. So I'll swap into this. I'll keep the Infernape alive for now. Is that adamant? No, that's got to be Jolly. No one runs adamant. Unless your name's Lucky Tux. 
I'll recover this off. He goes into the Venusaur. He probably wants to double. He's probably going to want to try and double out, to be honest. Ow. Yeah, that's jolly. Or else that would have done a whole lot more. So. Rotom. An interesting swap. I mean, I'll, I'll scald you. I, I I have no clue what this play is. What it, what even is this play? Why would you go into this thing? Uh, yeah. That was a bad play on his part. Is he trying to kill turns? I'll just Ice Beam. He, if, if this goes down, Pidgeot clicks Hurricane. He left it in. Okay, cool. I will click... I will actually click Ice Beam again. I do not care. That thing, that Venusaur is going to come. Did it already faint? No. Wow, he he stayed in. He's just going at it. All right. So whatever whatever floats your boat. Uh. So I'll, I should I click Skull? He's not specially defensive, so like even a Hurricane. Nope, he's staying in. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. That thing's definitely not specially defensive. Going right into my Pidgeot. I don't care what your name is. We going for that hurricane. That th that and it's going to drop. Goodbye. Whoa. No. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> Cue the, uh, how could this happen to be me? Beedrill. Okay. Um. Can't I just click anchor shot and hit whatever's coming in? I mean, it, I. Yeah, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I can, so... That, that is what I'll do. Anchor Shot. It's going to hit whatever comes in really hard. Poison Jab? Sure, I'll eat it. Anchor Shot? Mm, you won't eat it. Alright, so all that's left is the Venusaur, and we are Assault Vest, so it's not going to kill us. However, we will do a clean to it KO. And even if it does KO us, we have Infernape to KO it. So this, 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 that's game. But yeah, there's the Sludge Bomb. Oh wow, that did nothing. That's a that's a physically defensive Venusaur if I've ever seen one. But it won't matter. Infernape won't care about the fact that it's physically defensive. So this this right here is game. All right. Good game, Warlord. Uh, I wouldn't say the crit on the Glycepore mattered too much because I was just gonna sack it, sack the Infernape anyway, and go right into my Pidgeot. Wait, what? I missed this. Oh, I missed this being his last Pokemon apparently. Oh, close combat only has five. I thought it had more. I'm dumb. Anyway, that that's game. And GG. But yeah, as I was saying, the Glide Score crit didn't really matter because I was trying to sack the Infernape anyway, and that would have allowed me to go into Pidgeot, click Hurricane. And yeah. So, hope y'all enjoyed. I will see you in the next battle. Goodbye.